We are asked to find all of the exact solutions of, to the following equation, tangent of 5x equals 1, and to use the parameter k as necessary to represent any integer, and after that to list those solutions which are in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute 5x with theta, so let theta equal 5x, so I can rewrite the top equation as tangent of theta equals 1. And tangent is equal to the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. So we know when we're looking for two angles that the sine of the angle will have to be the same as the cosine of the angle because their ratio will be 1 over 1. So those two angles on the unit circle are pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So theta equals pi over 4 plus 2 pi k and theta equals 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. So let's substitute 5x back into this equation. 5x equals pi over 4 plus 2 pi k and 5x equals 5 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. And let's isolate x on for both of these equations on one side. So divide both sides of both equations by 5 to get x equals pi over 20 plus 2 over 5 pi k and x equals 5 pi over 20 plus 2 over 5 pi k. So I am going to Okay, so these are the two equations for how to represent every single solution out there for this equation. But now we are going to list those solutions which are in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to write 2 pi with a denominator of 20s just so we can get an idea of when to stop with substituting values of k into both equations. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 20 and get 40 pi over 20. This is when we start reaching this number. We, this is when we have to stop substituting values into k. So I'm going to start substituting whole numbers into the k constant for both of these equations. So, if I substitute 0 as k into this first equation, I get pi over 20. And if I substitute k as 0 into this equation, I get 5 pi over 20. If I substitute k as 1 into this equation, I get 9 pi over 20. And if I substitute k as 1 into this equation, I get 13 pi over 20. k equals 2 in this equation, 17 pi over 20, and if k equals 2 in this equation, then 21 pi over 20. If k equals 3 in this equation, then it is 25 pi over 20, and if k equals 3 in this equation, then we get 29 pi over 20. So you can see with our values, we're getting closer and closer to 40 pi over 20, but we're not quite there yet. If k equals 4 in this equation, then we get 33 pi over 20. And if k equals 4 in this equation, then we get 37 pi over 20. So we're pretty close to 40 pi over 20, but let's just try one more. k equals 5, if 
we substitute 5 into this equation for k, we get 41 pi over 20, which is above our limit. So we know that this is where we have to stop and we can't use this value. So when they ask us to list all the solutions in this interval, we can list all of these angles that are solutions for this equation within the interval 0 to 2 pi.